this book page 37 this is the problem number 15 maybe we are trying to solve stop the video solve the problem um, this is going to be considered pivot point so in here and this is going to be considered pivot point and uh, so we imagine this supporting leg was attached to the bench and this one was attached later that's why we consider just we can imagine that imagine if this leg this supporting leg was not here uh, the bench would uh, fall the rot um, the rotation caused by the force of its own weight or the person sitting on it uh, would cause it to rotate would create a torque so they add this um, base this uh, supporting base supporting leg to cause this f and this f can cause a torque that can cancel these torques so the torque um, three torque uh, caused by the f3 the torque three um, minus these two other torques uh, torque one minus torque two must be zero because we need a balance these ones are in this side and this one is in other um, counterclockwise which is a positive torque so um, r3 f3 um, actually first write, i'm going to write uh, torque 3 must equal torque 1 plus torque 2 i took i take this to the other side of the equation and it becomes positive so uh, r3 f3 must equal R1 F1 plus R2 F2. Uh, so R1 is the pivot to the F3. Um, R3, sorry, R3 would be from the pivot to the F3, which is actually 1 plus 0.6 plus 0.4, right? So the whole thing. Times F3 that we are looking for. R1 is the distance of F1 to the pivot point, which is 1 times um, uh, one times F1, which is actually 625, uh, 625 uh, plus uh, R2, which is this one, so 1 plus 0 0.6 times F2, which is 850. So... Uh, um, in here, I would have a, um, 2, this is 2, the whole thing, 2F3, and this would be 625 plus 1.6 times 850, and F3 would be 25 plus this uh, number divided by 2. And the answer would be 992.5. Stop the video and have a look at the answer if you like.